The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 242. Nasdaq's up 125. S&Ps are up 32. Percentage-wise out here, what you have, folks, is you get a market higher by 1.5% in the Nasdaq. Nine tenths of a percent by the S and P as well as the Dow Industrials. Gold contract, gold contract down twenty bucks, trading at thirteen ninety three an ounce. You have silver down six cents, fifteen dollars nineteen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude caught a bid, uh, was over sixty this morning. Sure did. Up a buck twenty three, fifty nine dollars seventy cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. Ten year note down four ticks, one twenty seven twenty seven. Thirty year bond off five at one fifty five thirteen. Now it's going to get really cool here, folks. Is this? No doubt your market has a pop. The S&Ps, they've been on an ABC structure up uh, since about a week and a half ago. So that number there is 29.77. The price projection is 3,055. The thing that's really wild watching this market right now is these notes and bonds will not pull back. You know, look, look at this. This is, this is not laying off. Right here, we got it. I'll just pull the screen over. So if you take a look at this, what you're going to see... This 10-year got down today into uh, 127.17. Yeah. Rejected lower price. This thing will not back off. And that's telling me once we finish this ABC structure up, these notes and bonds still want higher price, man. Okay. So it's pretty impressive that you have a market uh, that's up like we are. And guess what? The note and bond market is saying, I'm going higher. I'm not going lower. King dollar. King dollar is up uh, 444 ticks. Uh, this is up on light volume and what i expect we're going to see here we'll see how this shakes up by the end of the day you get 12 well 12,000 that now you only put 24,000 12,000 not bad out here um now you're coming into basically you know let's see where it 96 100 we hit 96 250 and i was looking for that 96 300 there okay what's that the low of may 13th yeah okay. so we'll see if it can hold price out here today the price it would have to hold today is that 96.235. We made it 250. Where I'm going with that, that's just when you broke down uh, last week underneath these levels here. Yeah. Um, gold, we go take a look at gold. Bottom line, looks to me like gold's building another B to C of an ABC structure on the way up. Um, you hit two, 1384. You get 255,000. Now, we're going into 530-something, I believe. This is it's going into one of his best days out here. Yeah, 543. So... You know, a lot of moving parts, um, lots of action over the weekend. Yeah. Um, 300 billion is not going to get uh, no additional tariffs. It right looks now. like. Yeah. Huawei, we yeah. come to find out. Don't worry, they're not spying on us. I guess business as That's usual. That's heavy. It is. That that the whole Huawei deal is pretty heavy, folks. When you get the deal that one second they're the biggest spies in the world, the next second we're going to do business with them. The second it was just a pawn in a negotiation, it seems. So, yeah. No. Oh yeah. I, listen, I, yeah. I, 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 as in say I, anything, a means to an end. Yeah, I, as I, in a means to. Hey, hey listen, the the other bombshell that's out here this morning. It, it, you're, my, gonna, you're gonna get into it. I already know yeah. what you're gonna. Oh no, no, I know. I oh see. yeah, oh it, for sure. That, you know the New York Times coming out saying that uh, you got the um, that the administration will go for just a nuclear freeze. Yeah. You know, and you know what? I, my take is that they were never going to give it up anyway. What? The last time that anyone gave up their nuclear power, we fucking took them out in like a second. You know what I mean? So it's like really. You know, that's like giving up your, you're getting robbed and somebody, you give it up your gun. It's Talking like, really? about Gaddafi, to put everything. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. No, exactly. No, yeah, no. 877-927-6648. Let's go take Didn't you hear, though, at the last meeting, he said, Kim, he said, no, no, we're done with nukes. We're going to give it up. <laughs> that's how the last meeting ended. Yeah, okay. well, guess what? No, that's what the president said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... How about those chip stocks, though? Yeah, Getting a pop, they, man. They, they like the fact they, they're going to be able to do business with uh, the Chinese giant Huawei again. It was 20% of their business, you know? 
quite uh, a pop across oh, the Oh, look board. at wind, too. People huh? must be gambling in Boston. Well, Macau, no, the oh, China. That's yeah, it. that's right. There you go. Yeah. So wind's up uh, almost 8%. You get Sea Trip up 6.6. Skyworks is up 6.5. Now, that's big because that's one of Apple's big suppliers, sure. okay? Micron. Micron Tech's up 6. I bet the list continues with chips right under there. For, yeah, you know. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, SMHs, let's go to yes. the SMHs. Yep, there you go. Pop. <laughs> that's quite a pop. Yeah, yeah almost 4%, 4 for percent. Yeah, the whole right. uh, index. The wind deal, that's pretty intense. Can you pull up wind, maybe get into the news for them? Yeah. I mean, we, you know that Macau is a huge deal for them. Um, oh, and they oh, got Macau and Gaming the data. data. Come all right. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I was curious whether it was all like that yeah. trade. I was like, that's quite a pop. To uh, So there we go. Show the June gross gaming revenue rose 5.9% year on year. Year over year. Call it 6%. I mean, the median estimate was less than 2 Wow. Uh, that is a pop, and the range was anywhere from minus one to, I guess, an outlier of eight. Uh, accelerating gross gaming revenue growth in June, and the and the U.S. China, yeah, kind of a perfect storm for them sure. on a Monday morning, right? Um, should be viewed as strong positives for the Macau gaming stocks. And it's, it's it would make sense just in terms of the, the trade deal side of things. I mean, they're operating in Macau. You need the big whales. Oh, yeah. The big whales are going to be owners of businesses, probably doing international business, That's the right. people who are dropping millions and millions of dollars. Yep. And if they're nervous right now, they're not going to be free with their millions. Right. It just makes perfect sense. Oh, you just got a big trade deal over the weekend? You want to go celebrate Macau Sunday night and yes. play some, some black, some Baccarat, some Pygow for millions? Let's, let's do let's it. Let's throw like 50, 60 million down, Exactly. Man. Let's do it. They'll get us a private jet. They'll get us over there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Right? You got to love it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, wanna, I can't do this really quickly, but... I believe, like, the numbers that these gambling companies, our gambling companies that are doing business there, make in Macau, like, uh, like two to three times bigger than they make in the whole rest of Vegas and yeah. the city. Yeah, I everywhere. mean, Vegas is transitioning to a service vacationing spot. I mean, okay. yeah, Vegas, you know, right. you know, the World Series of Poker, right. play poker is going on there right now. Right. There's always going to be gambling. Right. But I believe that Vegas is making more off of uh, non-gambling revenue. Right. Profit-wise, which was a big shift uh, somewhat in the last few years or something. You know, no, where it, yeah. it finally changed the gaming revenue versus just straight revenue. Um, Wait, and it makes sense. You know, I tell all, people that aren't gamblers, the, I tell, you know, you should go to Vegas. It's beautiful. The, the, right. you go there and go see a show and all eat some to, beautiful food. And, and, and go see a pool party, folks. That's okay? right. You know, enjoy you the, the even decadence. If you, even if you don't go to a pool party, you, you can... You can you, Enjoy the you decadence. can, you can stay I mean, up in a balcony, you can look down at the wind, I mean, and you just can't believe what you're seeing. Yeah. I mean, it's... Wind, the aria, right? I mean, it's amazing. The Bellagio is now, like, one oh. of the older hotels, still amazingly beautiful. Um, yeah. So, hey. versus Macau, man, they got gamblers. That, that's oh, the, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the difference. That the yeah. Macau is not, uh, and I'm sure it's, like, extremely extravagant. You see the pictures? But they got gamblers, yeah, man. <laughs> real gamblers. Exactly, and they got more of them than we got because law of averages, man. They got the people, so yes, yeah, big time. Yeah, uh, Apple. Apple is also getting a pop out here, so let's take a look at Apple. Um, Good day for Apple in terms of that trade deal as well. Yeah, yeah. five good. bucks, not bad. Let's get a now I think the two oh seven on Apple somewhere they become that trillion dollar company again. Okay. Yeah. Just something to keep in mind. And we're at 203.31. Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not? Trillion hair, trillion there. Why not? It's Monday. Hey, we're coming in July 4th. I did get a haircut, 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 man. It's summertime. There you go. July 4th. That's right. I like it. Celebrate. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow Industrials up 228. NASDAQ up 113. S&P's up 30. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 221. You get the Nasdaq up 110. S&Ps are up 29. And, folks, uh, you just heard that promotion for Taz Market Profile. This is the last day. This thing is coming down, I guess, today, right? Yeah. Tonight yeah. we'll get it down, okay. and we will, right. because new pricing, it's going to start by at least midnight, end of the business day, some degree of that. Right. So $97 a month. That will run through the business day, at least today. But I encourage everybody, go check it out. We've had... Some good sign-ups over right. last week, the weekend, people, you know, realizing the value that you get in there. You gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and yourself did uh, just last month, a couple, week, right couple weeks ago. Uh, you want to use this profile scanner, folks. It's yeah. a very powerful piece of tool that's very easy to use. Yeah. And it's not a black box, so you know exactly what the, you're actually looking at. And, and, and going through those videos will help you tremendously. Yeah. Oh, totally. Right. You know, and, the, and really the workshop that uh, Steve really went through, yeah. an hour-long webinar, kind of walking you through exactly how you can break down, use that scanner, because like anything, man, it's a powerful piece of software. you got to have a little bit of a tutorial of where oh, am yeah. I clicking, how am I breaking this down, right. how do you trade so you understand, you know, how you're trading, how you use the scanner. What time frame yeah. you want. Yeah. Right. Do you trade on 60 minute, 240, whatever it is, right? Uh, so $97 a month, new subscribers, get a 30-day money-back guarantee. you got nothing to risk. You get to use it for a month, and if you decide to keep it, you lock in the $97 rate, and you're good to go for as right. long as you want to keep it, man. So that's today. Check it out. I encourage everybody. It is a piece of software that you don't want to miss out on. Totally. And uh, we were looking at, we're going to jump to basketball, all right? Yeah. While well, everybody goes and signs up for the TAS Profile Scanner on the website, we'll talk a little sports, and we'll yeah. get back to the market. Uh, so free agency, man. Now, I'm not a huge basketball fan. Love the Celtics, of course. Yeah. But it's always interesting, it the is. money that gets thrown around. So... You have the new, I was going to say New Jersey Nets, Brooklyn Nets. I know. They moved there, I, I think, think, in 2012. I, um, they got two of the they biggest. They cleaned up. Yeah, they got uh, Kevin Durant. 
many people familiar. Now, the interesting interesting factor of him is he just tore his Achilles. Right. Going to be out for a full season, at least. And uh, Kyrie Irving, the Celtic, who they knew was not going to be a Boston Celtic. He was jumping ship. So they get them both. Both get max contracts, and they also signed another player as well to, like, a four-year, $40 million yeah. deal. And so the max contract, I think it had the number in there. Was it 100? I, want, I know. I was, was looking. It it's It so had it in one the, of them. The way it works, the yeah, it's the combined it's about $300 million okay. that they dropped. And it's surprising that the uh, poor journalism, I would say, as in everybody's going to want the numbers. Show, him, show yeah. me them right up front, right? Where are those numbers? Um, and I'm sure we can pull it up. I tell you what, I got ESPN up here. I bet they're going to have it up. Let's see, because uh, it's remarkable. And the way it works in basketball is that they have max contracts. It's not like baseball. You get a max contract. So these guys, okay. pretty much guaranteed. They already knew. You're getting the max contract. So all that matters is where you end up. Wow. And then there's a little bit of variation that allows some of the teams, you can get a larger max contract if you stay with your current team to incentivize okay. being able to keep your players. Okay. Um, so I can't find it too quickly here. But nonetheless, the Brooklyn Nets kind of giving it to the New York Knicks, those yeah. poor Knickerbockers. Um, and the interesting factor looming here is that you still have Kawhi Leonard for Toronto, who just won the championship. He is a free agent, and that's really the most prized possession because, number one, he's super healthy, yeah. and you have Durant out, and um, he just won a championship. And is he going to stay in Toronto? I see. So this is still going on now. So oh, this just started. They, they did uh, this on, like, day one of free okay. agency. They scooped okay. these guys up. And uh, and Kawhi is still out there. And uh, we'll see what he does. But it's interesting stuff, man. Huge money, for totally. sure. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the GDX. Uh, so the GDX, so, you know, we get, you got... Well, here, first, first, we can go over to the gold contract. The go, so the gold contract um, did everything it should have done. In fact, uh, we did... Uh, a 1 to 1.50 ABC structure on the way up. And thank God we stopped at this uh, 1445 level, uh, 1442. Getting so, a little parabolic. Yeah, that yeah. yeah if, that, if that went to 1449.96, it would have been a, not good. Okay. So if we go over to the GDX and we take a look at the can GDX. I, can I say why, though? You did 1449, that was very, where, where did it? That's a 1 to 1.618 ABC okay. up. Okay. So what happens That's all there I is that your probability it was gets yep. much higher that, you know, that's yep. the end of the move, period. Okay. So if we take a look at the GDX, you know, now you're coming down into the gap. I mean, it'd be great if you're looking at this, like, where do you want to go long? It would be $24.03. That's, you know, okay. that's the top of the that's gap. That's a high, that's your 19th, yeah. sorry. So you get a monster gap here. So the real question is going to be, you know, do we do that? Um, doesn't have to, because okay. what, what you have here, and this is what, you know, you get a differential inside this GDX as you do inside the GLD, is you got to remember something that the... Gold trades 23 hours a day. So what ends up happening is that if we look at this, you're going to see gaps all over the place in the GDX. You're going to see gaps yes. all over the place in the... Um, yeah, gets a lot of action the XAU, from the HUI. 4 p.m. until 9.30 a.m. Exactly. This is a worldwide deal. Yeah. It's not just a, a U.S. deal. Yeah. You would see the same thing in, like, a Bitcoin, right? As in yes. it's, it's exactly. trading at all hours. They're exactly. arbitrary opening exactly. and closing. You know, versus... Inside the equity business, you know, yeah. most of the time what ends up happening is that they trade when they trade, and these yeah. gaps actually do get filled, you know. So, okay. uh, like, if we go over to an Eco Eagle, you're at 119, down 119, and, you know, that still can, you know, get that gap out there at 48.54. And I got to plug it, June 19th, it's the way a day you guys do the TAS webinar. So everyone should get in there and yeah. see what kind of that, that scanner was saying and check it out. Yeah. So it's a big day in gold. The... Uh, yeah, they're big numbers. If you don't want to see... Now, this was a... Last week, folks, you had a big deal in this market in general. And the reason is that you had the two largest streamers in the world, Royal Gold as well as Franco Nevada, break all-time highs. The highs we're talking about... Let me see this. I can bring this... Make sure I get this right. Yeah. The highs we're talking about, this is... Uh, they're 2012, right? That was 100 dollars and 84 cents and you're going to see that we well, we're already over that now yeah. but yeah. we hit 102 62 last week in yeah. royal gold and if we go to franco nevada you're going to see the same deal now what that indicates is that number one you get a strong market um and number two when you see that happen the most times you that's an indication that the physical 
gold market is going higher. Sure. You so know? the high here was 86.06. We're yeah. not quite over it right now as we were in the last one, but 86.81, like you said. We, we got broke it last it. week, yep. right, you know, in yep. both cases. Yep. So what's going to be cool here is this. We're starting off at a much higher level when you look at all these stocks, you know, from, let me just bring this back, two years, so you can see kind of like where we're starting off from. You see, you know, this run here started in... April 26th? Yeah. And that's a nice way because when I bring this back all the way to the lows, the lows of September, yep. you know, the first run was $58. This is in Franco, Nevada. So you had September 2018, 58. You ran up to 78. Yep. And you can see if we do the retracement off this, if you're into Fibonacci sequence, you know, all we did is just over a 0 0.382. So that's saying we get a strong market on, on that dip. So we're starting, when, when you start from a higher level, your probability really gets good, too, that you can go a lot higher. So there's action. And then um, we'll swap this baby out and now go to Bitcoin. <laughs> and uh, they had quite a weekend in book Bitcoin out here. They sure did. So we're 10,563 right yeah. now. And even check it out. Uh, now, this is one we're going to see a huge gap. Maybe we'll pull up one of the other charts. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, look at that. Right from over 1,200 we ended last week, man. Down 1,600 bucks. We'll see what happens. So, we might be back at 13,000 in no time. 3,000 bucks in three days. That's Stay right. right there, folks. Tommy, I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Go get them, folks. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 178, Nasdaq's up 96, S&Ps are up uh, 26, and uh, let's go into Platinum. So what you had out here last week, folks, uh, Platinum was moving higher as the gold contract as and as well as the silver contract was basically moving sideways so platinum yeah it is it, yeah. It, 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 we really got some action here in the platinum market now and that's what you need uh, you know we, we on last Friday you could see platinum move from uh, 817 844 you got it over the little swings out here today yeah good move that's saying oh, listen platinum can get to 925 now so, and what one of the tigers had just brought up in the den. Now, this is really cool because silver hasn't had any real, well, it's had strength, but you need, silver needs a lot more strength. And what's happening here is that silver, you know, bottom line has rejected that lower price once again. It's, pretty, it's a pretty nice setup, you know, for the dollar, well, we'll go back to the dollar, for the dollar being up 444 ticks. Okay. Yeah. That's a decent setup, yep. you know. So, what... What we have here, we get a slight change of, you know, how these metals uh, are working. But I would yeah. say that that's a positive in the overall metal market because gold had been the strongest. Yes. Silver was a weak dog. Platinum was like, forget it. No one even wanted to talk about platinum. Yeah. So that's a, that's a decent setup there, man. And yeah. uh, oil. Let's go to the oil market and see. Yeah, I saw some headline as well in terms of uh, something to do with OPEC, so a little bit of a perfect storm yeah. um, for oil in a good direction in terms of uh, maybe an OPEC cut. You got uh, yeah. business booming with less trade concerns with China, but look at that pullback, right? We're, we're almost yeah. 90 cents off the high now. This is a tough place for, you yeah. can see, you know, if you're taking a look at the, our screen here, do you watch the Tiger TV, folks? You're going to see this is right at ice. This is definitely that that should have been able to hold today. You know, with, with the market up as dramatically as we're up, yeah. You know, there's yeah. no reason that you know that couldn't hold. Well, there is a reason. That you know what it means, folks, is that we still have more oil than uh, there is. Uh, demand for. I would agree. You know? That's all it has to do with, right? Supply yeah. and demand, especially in that commodity market, man. Right. But yeah, so you got OPEC gets set to extend production cut. Um, it was one of the headlines out there. Um, reports that the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Russia and other producers, or OPEC, set to extend that production cuts for the next nine months. So Yeah, uh, well, they're just going to have to worry about all these um, companies in the U.S. expanding their <laughs> production. <laughs> yes. They, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, of oil, right. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The OPEC exactly. cuts are the not Permian, what, The Permian Basin, uh, bottom line, uh, you know. OPEC cuts 10, yeah. 15 years ago decided the market, right? Um, yes. As in the supply of the market, totally. much more so than now where the U.S. has some huge production. Right? Yeah. yeah. They, it's, and just North America, too, in general. We, we right? broke that 12 million barrels per day last week okay. which was evidently a, a milestone yeah, yeah 12 I'm million a day <laughs> that's that is a we number. love our oil man <laughs> it's just you know you look at those highways you look at those la highways oh. man right let alone boston new york all those cabbies man they're all running on crew. i'm telling you you know yeah. it's, it, it's like what happens folks in florida and i've been we've both been here long enough to see the difference you know when may 30th comes in you know normally you see the traffic slow down pretty dramatically, you know? It's pretty hot in Florida. I'd jump ship if I could, too. In terms of going yeah, up north, yeah. right? People leave, for but, sure. But guess what? We still get traffic here. Like, I just yeah. drove in. It's like, you know. It's still a big city, though. You know, as in. Oh, it there's is. There's a big no, difference. There is. It, but every year, there's more people. That's my yeah. point. Every yeah. summer, you know, guess what? There's more people here because there's more people moving in. I mean, sure. it's, you know, that's, sure. you know. Yeah. So the NQs, let's take a look at this. So the NQs just had a little sell down here. Um... We just went from uh, 78.49. We just gave up 40 points. Yeah, 50 points, really. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a quick move, man. Yeah, it was. Nine, and, nine, and go ahead. I was just going to say well, nine. Once, once you get there, this thing is game here now for 77.72. Oh, we're right there, right? Yeah. yeah. We're within you know, 20 look, points. Look at, we just dropped to 77. I mean, we're dropping as we speak, man. Um, yeah, 940. I mean, 10 minutes after the open, man, all those markets just kind of dropped out of yeah. bed in a good five-minute chart to the tune of, you know, Dow dropped 60, 80 points in a heartbeat. S&P's dropped five or six. Yeah. And this is when uh, ES... You, you and the S&P reached highs, uh, yeah. record highs, I believe. Um, it did, overnight. Yeah. yeah. And the S&P, too. So this is... If you haven't been in a market like this before, meaning, you know, you, you think it's actually news-driven, but it, it, it really is buy-seller-driven, and, you know, it's just 
wild that you know you can get pops like this on news that okay, 300 billion is not coming in, um, and then they sell it right off. I so agree, man. you know the larger part. Yeah, and let me show you something here, folks. This is really intriguing. So you don't see this a lot, but this is where you're gonna. There was a large portfolio shift at the end of this quarter. So, so you see this? Okay, so when I'm bringing this up, this is the NYSE, right? 2.1 billion shares inside the NYSE on Friday, right? If we go over to the NASDAQ composite, you're going to see 4 billion shares. So most times what this is, this is, what, this is a classic window dressing, end of the month, beginning of the month. But this type of number is saying to me that if you were a money manager, right, you were all set, you've, you've been up, you've been up good, right, you're coming to the end of the month, and you've decided that I'm going to swap out either sectors or equities or something. That's a big swap out I'm in both cases. You know, now, what would happen is that you wouldn't be just selling. You would be buying also, do you know what I mean? But that's okay. telling me that you're selling some equities, you're buying other equities, you're probably still, you know, inside whatever your prospectus is saying, okay? Yeah. Meaning that you're still owning equities, but that's a heads up, man. <laughs> Which great, yeah, I was curious what the other quarterlies look like, and so yeah. just paging down. So what are we looking at here, the NASDAQ? The composite, yeah. And uh, so last day, only 2.2 from right. March. Oh, yeah, no, it's... Can you pull up the NYSE? What, what was the first one we looked at? Uh, the the Dow or NYSE, yeah, yeah. So you want to go so, yeah. to March 31st, yep. the closest one, yeah. And yeah, 1.1. 1. 1. 1. It's not even close. Yeah. So. No, it's it's a big number. It's yeah. stuck out. Yeah. It's it's stuck. It, it, it makes sense to me that it's stuck out because you've you've had the volatility, and more so. So picture you. You got to remember, folks, that you're in the finance business. Those money managers in the finance business, they're there to make money for their clients, right? So. Inside the probability part of the business, we're up good. And they, they might be saying, hey, you know what? I can get more defensive the next six months, get more money, and I think that something is not going to go down or up as be it volatile, you know? Yeah. So, because we're at big, big time from I mean, January we're at record first. high, so. Well, and, and yeah, just look oh, at this. Right. Oh. Uh, Wiz. It's almost there. I think that's the, the left side of the chart. It's almost January 1st. Oh, right All here. the way, yeah. So you're talking... What's that, 24, 43? Yeah. Yeah, 500 bucks. 500, that's, yeah. that's almost 20%. Or maybe it is 20%. It is, well, it is yeah. over 24. It's not right. of 29, right? right. But it's, it's so, more than 20% from where we were. Uh, clients would be very happy with 24% inside a stock market. Oh they would, especially with how things ended on December 24th of last year. Exactly. And they exactly. quite a tough way to end 2018 on those returns. So let's also look at the small caps, because what the small caps did do on Fridays, that they had volume, which was a mind blower. Yeah. I heard them talking about the debt that they rebalanced too, which probably threw some volume in there. Oh, so. yeah, big time. Yeah, the small caps still look like they, they, they probably want those highs still. 877 927 6648. Stay right there, folks. Tell me I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrial is up 186. You get the Nasdaq up 99. S&Ps are up 28. This is a pretty cool article. So this is something that folks said you're going to want to keep your eye on, you know, next two or three years. Now, this is just starting. The, so this, the, the headline is, the next housing bubble could come from technology. A decade after the housing crash, it is now possible to buy or sell a house with the click of a mouse. If the practice catches on, it could lead to a far more efficient and affordable housing market or another devastating bubble. Uh, So-called iBuying involves firms using uh, a logarithms, uh, logarithms to, right. uh, to provide sellers with fixed price offers on their homes. While housing is a good long-term investment, uh, it is bedeviled by multiple instances of market failure. The most fundamental is that the seller has a lot more information about the condition of the property than the potential buyer. Buyers and investors are therefore cautious. Disclosure requirements help, but they are often lengthy and confusing. What this is all about is this, folks. And this is, I, I, it's so cool that I'll end up reading the whole thing. This just came across. <laughs> so this is going to start coming across the country fast and furious, right? Zillow, remember when Zillow came out? So Zillow right now. Sorry, I, oh, I was just okay. reading through. I think okay. we should just finish yeah. where, because the, this is the key part. This is where algorithms come in. They read the disclosures, do the market comparisons, evaluate timing, assess nearby rental, vacan rental vacancies, and consider, another, you know, so you're dealing right. with algorithms, basically right. breaking down some of those factors, allowing for maybe better pricing, um, and that allows the iBuying firms to comfortably offer an instant price. I just right. want to put that out there that's because right. that's a, a crux of yep. being able to do this is computers are catching on right. to so, allow a business to be able to price a uh, right. property, which, like you say, it's so hard to price a property because of the number of factors. So, so, go for so it. last year, Phoenix, Arizona, in Phoenix, 5% of the houses were sold through instant buying and investing owned as many 20, as 22,000 houses in the market. That's a huge number, man. Well, it gets even bigger. So, so watch... Uh, Buy online real estate firms such as Redfin are offering better technology, such as 3D maps, which allow potential buyers to purchase sight unseen. So yeah. what happens here, folks, is this. Now they are making this is this is the, the this is where this gets really intriguing because you gotta remember something, and nothing is for nothing. And inside of here, they it, it looks like in one hand that you're getting a decent price, but okay. they're they're still getting percentages inside that market for that in a big way um meaning that okay if it's a rental housing investor generally consider a price to rent ratio of 12 to 15 as a good investment that corresponds to a yield about seven to nine percent on the other hand the average dividend yield 
on stocks is 2%, corresponding to a price dividend yield of over, over 50. So what has happened is this. This is, this is, to cut to the chase quick, this is what I think how this is going to shake out. At the beginning of that article saying that, number one, it may bring the price of houses down. Number two, then it says, oh, a bubble. My take is that this is going to push the prices of house higher, and this is why. So all these companies want to go public. On the ones that are public, can deal with a much smaller spread. So Zillow, we, we can get this thing quick. I'll show you how many houses Zillow bought. And they bought a, a mil, so many of them, right? And a lot of them, they're not making any money on it at all. They're, because they, have, they want to get in the business. It's, it's like one of these things that they're going to spend a lot of money for people to say yes, to get in the business, okay? Okay. And the real kicker is if they're, if they're only making, uh, on the, the, you know, 2 to 4%, which some of this is, and they're losing money on some of them, um, you get any kind of a light like, pullback, and it's going to be like, oh, baby. Um, you know, you can pull back pretty dramatically. But on the other hand, I would say the technology is going to be in this business. It's going to get more sure. intense in this business. But the ramp up to that, you know, let's say you get five different public companies in the same business doing the same thing. Guess what? You're going to uh, – you have two different things. You're going to have bigger money chasing a small amount of supply. And if that's the case, guess what? Prices are going up. So it's going to be interesting watching this whole thing shake out. Um, you know, and I, let me see if Zillow has broken this out yet. Because remember, on the last earnings call, they were saying how they've – their revenue had gone up exponentially, but what had really happened is that it did go up exponentially, okay? But you had to take into case that they have gone from an advertising revenue to selling houses. They, okay. you know, so all of a sudden, you know, you get an advertising contract, great, that's, you know, a couple hundred grand, a million dollars, whatever. Well, you sell five houses, that's a million dollars, too. So sure. the gross revenue will go up dramatically. Yes. The real question is going to be, you know, Profit. what does the bottom line Margins, go? yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out. Most of the time, when you're selling advertising, um, there's not a cost of goods sold. There is, right? But once you reach where you have that covered, exactly, and you're able to just keep putting ads on web pages, right. there's very minimal cost. That's for that. right. Versus, yeah, you're selling houses. There's always gonna be huge, ninety percent cost or whatever. If, and that's a ten percent right. margin. I don't think you know. As yeah, in, yeah. And they're gonna fix the houses. They have the, yes. the crews. It's gonna, but it's 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 intriguing. There's no there's no doubt about that. And they may be in your city. They're, they're not in all the cities yet. They're, they're basically laying this out across the country. One thing I saw in the article towards the end it touched on, which is interesting, is that so if that does happen, that prices become something you can basically buy or sell at. Right. They've pegged the price, right? right? It's, it's something you can actively buy and sell. That because where prices usually result allow those 7 to 9% yields yeah. in an environment where yields are so low, right. you're instantly going to see those prices come up Yes. To bring the yield down. Right. So you could see a very quick pop because the reason why you don't see that pop is because you have to do so much due diligence on these properties, right? right? And that it is kind of a risk. Well, geez, if you're telling me right away, I can buy that property at this amount, $200,000, yes. I can get this rent, $1,000 a month. That's right. Give me that property, right? right. You know, and so that's right. And guess what? The guy, well, well I've, you're, I'll take it at 205. Well, I'll take it at 210, right? Because you can take it all the way up until. The yield reaches totally three percent. Exactly. You know, wherever you're comfortable with taking that yield, with the risk that the market goes down, and then and they have change. and and they're going to have a lot more money than the public in in all those cities too. So sure. that drives but that price. But anybody could be point. in that market too, though, right? I mean, as oh, in IRA can. money could be in that you know market. Oh, if no. there's an easy dividend yield out there for four or five percent, though, with a market where you can instantly buy it and instantly be the owner that's taking in that rent, right? But it, my take is only an institution would take that. You and I wouldn't take that. You, you know? would take that in a heartbeat. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't take Okay. No. That's what you see? Okay. No, no. I, because we have to... As, I mean, I'm say not saying as, you take as, it at 3%, but it's at 7 or 9% right now. And a lot of people outside of just businesses, a lot of individual people, would, would take a, an investment that you get 7% on instantly. Yeah, yeah. That, so that's I, you, the, I, I thought I you meant you are talking about 2 to 4%, which they're taking. My take is that they're going to take a not, lot. Okay, but they're not taking 2 to 4% right now. You, that was the whole point of the article, was that right now they're at about 7 to 9% in an environment that is 2%. That, well, that's what that article said. Okay, I, that's, it, but that's once, what we were talking about. That's all I know about. I'm right. trying to bring the listeners to where I am. That's what we were talking about. Right. Okay. And if 
the Zillow numbers are a lot lower than that. The real numbers. Okay. You know, that, that sure. article saying that. But Zillow right now is the biggest player in the deal. Sure. And that their number, they're lucky they're making, I don't, we don't even know if they're making money. No, and that's um, the point, though. They're kind of not. But the, the individual person, I think, like you or me, if that becomes more prevalent, they will be in there. And that will attribute to that rise. I can see that, man. Yeah. I mean, you got IRA money, if that ever becomes something you could do. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, right. it's, that's, yeah. Stay right here, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow. Dow is up 176. NASDAQ is up 94. S&Ps are up 26. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And we got a... We gotta End this show with a uh, positive beyond belief. This oh, is I'm this is like so of, cool. It's unbelievable. It Henrique and Pedro, man, yeah. good for those guys. Two Oof. college dropouts built an eight hundred and sixty million dollar fortune by the age of twenty three, and they did this in two years, folks. This and is that's pretty intense. Their fortune, man. The yeah. company is valued at two point six billion. That's right. just their stake. Right. And uh, pretty remarkable, man. You pull this up, so. Uh, Founders and top executives of Brex Inc. I haven't actually heard of that, uh, <laughs> oof, but I haven't heard a lot of companies are private. Where, where the time we hear of it, it's going to be worth ten billion. I, that's yeah. what Silicon Valley is saying, man. So recently, recently valued at two point six billion. Um, so these guys are entrepreneurs and they're brilliant. It looks yeah. like one guy's fourteen. He built his first company. 
a video game. He's, he's getting patent infringement soon after. He teamed up he with shut another. It down, that yeah, he shut down that one, right? But probably a brilliant move. Just kind yeah. of stealing some copyrights. Um, he started pager.me. Again, not familiar. Pegar, maybe. Payment, payment processor. Yep, so 150 employees. Yeah. Sold it in 2016. Then he said, you know what, I'm going to go to Stanford. Gets right. there freshman year. He says, you know what, I'm going to quit Stanford and right. start a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so just started last year, man. And on paper, at least, their stakes are worth an estimated $430 million right. each. And um, it's a, you know, rapid even by Silicon Valley. And it's the fastest... American companies, one of the fastest American companies ever to reach a multi-billion dollar valuation. Um, right. And, you know, 25 million in 2017, man. Yep. Um, pretty remarkable. And uh, good for those And this guys. is, is going to be another payment, FinTech, yep. credit cards, you know, that's with the money there. You know, you know it's amazing that the, the, uh, the money in credit cards and payment processes, we don't even look at it anymore, but no. paying for something, it's three to three and a half percent. If you wonder why the banks give you back two percent, well, guess what? They're making, you and know. And they said one of those valuation, they're going to potential to expand it to other businesses. They're using credit cards for startups, for their employees that rely on real-time data. Stay right there, folks. we got Fast Market coming up next. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Go get them, folks.